Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming. I'm joined today by President of City Council, Mr. Garidi, Vice President of City Council, Ms. Moda. Behind me, uh, Mr. Hendricks, who's on the Public uh, Safety Committee, and various officers uh, joining us today for this ceremony. I think it is very fair to say that the role of police has always been of interest to the average citizen. Television has capitalized upon this curiosity shows such as Cops and America's Most Wanted. Each week, real police action is broadcast into the living room of millions of Americans. Few people would argue against the fact the law, that law enforcement is one of the most fascinating careers one could choose to pursue. But you will never ever get the real inside scoop of how a law enforcement agency works or why things happen the way they do on an evening broadcast or one of those prime time shows solve the crime in one hour, such as NCIS. My wife loves NCIS. I don't know if she likes the actors or, or the whole story, but she loves it. Or FBI and many others. That's where the Allentown Police Department Citizens Police Academy comes in. The objective of the Citizens Police Academy is not to train an individual to be a reserve officer, but to produce informed citizens. In our continuous efforts to reach as many of our citizens as possible, we are here to announce today that our summer 2021 program will be conducted in Spanish to open up the Citizens Police Academy to Spanish-speaking residents as well. In the past, we have found that many citizens have simply seen a uniform, but through this program, we hope our Spanish-speaking residents can gain a better understanding about the rules, the regulations, and policies of what the police have to follow each and every day behind the badge. This is why the Civilian Police Academy was created, to give our citizens a first-hand, up-close, and personal look at how the Allentown Police Department works from the men and women who are on the streets doing their job every day. I want to thank Council Vice President Moda for pursuing and promoting the idea of Spanish-speaking class and want to uh, thank Chief Granitz for putting it all together. At this time, I would like uh, Vice President Moda to say a few words. Ms. Moda? Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. We are excited about this great opportunity Allowing our Spanish residents to benefit and become a part of the APD Citizen Academy is key. For too long, a large majority of our community were locked out of the Sitting Academy due to the language barrier. Allowing the Citizen Academy to now include Spanish speakers will be crucial to bridging the gap between the community and the law enforcement. When the citizens are part of the process, it increases safety and also empathy. This is a big stepping stone for all of us. When community and police can understand and work together, we increase public safety for all. I also would like to um, thank the, the uh, chief for, for his initiative uh, Chief Granis for his initiative and, and also his leadership. I think that this is going to be great uh, for us um, in, in our Allentown community. We're very excited and guess what? We already have a list going. We already have 50 people interested in participating. Okay. So this is going to be amazing. Thank you. video we'd like to play for you. My name is Officer Melissa Gogol. Hola, me llamo Oficial Vidal. Bonjour, je m'appelle Ibemsi. Hello, my name is Sergeant Christy Correa. Hola, mi nombre es Capitan Charles Roca. Hello, my name is Officer Cerner. Keep on on Esme Manar Mahul. Hi, I'm School Resource Officer Owens. Hola, mi nombre es el Oficial Collado. Hello, my name is Detective Lurch. Hola, mi nombre es el capellán del Departamento de Policía de la Ciudad de Allentown, Carlos Salas. Hello, 
My name is Chief Glenn Granitz, and we are the Allentown Police Department. Good afternoon. That video speaks volumes about who we are and where we want to be as a police department. That video was made well over a year ago with the idea of days like this in mind. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am smiling. It's not hidden by a mask. I am very happy about why we are here today. I am happy to work with a mayor and a councilwoman who have the passion to connect with their community in this way. Thank you, Mayor O'Connell, Councilwoman Moda, Councilman Hendricks, President Garidi, for trusting us enough to make this new connection to our community. To everyone else in attendance and those of you watching online in our COVID reality, thank you for being here with us today. This is a wonderful opportunity to combine something that we have done very well, our Citizens Police Academy, with the Allentown that we are becoming. And make no mistake about it, the Allentown Police Department is saying loud and clear that we are ready to work with our residents. We are in this together. This is a proud moment. We are doing something here that we are excited about, that I am excited about. This moment confirms growth and change within our police department and our great city, and I am proud to be a part of it. Here at APD, we are embracing change and moving forward with our community. Our residents provide Allentown with the strength of diversity. And amongst that diversity, our Latino population in particular is a group that we are committed to working with. The response to this initiative from our APD officers has been nothing short of incredible. There's officers in attendance here that are not working right now. They came in on their own and I did not ask them to be here. To the men and, AP, men and women of APD working hard every day, I say, I see you. Let me say that again. Te veo. To those of you in our great city that speak Spanish and want to be a part of what we are creating here at APD, I hear you. Let me say that again. Te oigo. <laughs> to Assistant Chief Roca and the community outreach team that we are building here at APD, thank you all for embracing this opportunity and connecting with our citizens. I'm now going to step aside and let someone who has experienced the Citizens Police Academy speak to you directly. I would like to introduce you to Brenda Fernandez, who many of you may know as Luna. She is a homeowner on the city's south side. She is an entrepreneur, a peer support specialist, a forensic recovery specialist, and she is the executive director of a nonprofit right here in our city. Luna graduated in 2019 from our Citizens Police Academy, and I believe she has her own very special story to tell. Brenda? Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. <clears throat> I appreciate this. I definitely want to say that, um, first and foremost, thank you for having me here, and I am honored. I am honored because I do, those that do know me know that I've come a long way. So I'm, I'm highly grateful to be here. 2019, wow. I was ecstatic when I got accepted into the class. First, I was hesitant, right, to put the application in because of the background. Then I said, you know what, I deserve a chance. You know, I, I'm not gonna, I, I won't know if I don't try, right? So I put the application in and got a call. And I was super ecstatic, couldn't wait for the class. So, once I was in there, I got to see the ins and outs, right? We hear all the negativity um, as far as the community or the, in society, the negative things of, of police officers, right? And I said, no, there's more to it. There's also good. So I said, I'm gonna join the class and I wanna know more. I wanna know everything, the ins and outs. And it was the best thing. I am so grateful to join that and, and I learned a lot. Um, I am, I'm also humbled to say that this has opened my eyes to a lot of things. This has opened my eyes to build more relationships um, with others. 
And um, yeah, I, I think it's important that we do include um, the Latinos in, in the community because we're growing, we're growing, right? And not only that, this is, this is the important piece. This is a piece where APD and the Latin community or the community itself has that bridge to say, you know what, let's, let's put this together and let's start building these relationships with our people. Because, and honestly, a lot of people don't trust APD. So this is a start. This is a start and I'm so happy and grateful to say we're going in the right direction, definitely. We're definitely going in the right direction because we, we definitely need to build that bridge. And I think this is the important piece right there where now let's show those that don't trust, right? Let's start building this to show them you can trust us. Let's, let's build this community once again and let's, let's do it together. So I'm super excited. I'm super, super excited. Hopefully I can come back to the class and, and uh, just partake or share. We'll put you in the scenarios. <laughs> awesome. I am there. I am definitely there. But yeah, I learned lots and I, and I believe that um, a lot of folks should do this class, you know, because again, you know, the community does not trust it. So, and I don't want to say 100%, there's, there's some people that do, but that's because we know, right? We build these relationships with officers and, 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 and those folks know. But the people that don't know, that don't trust, um, and, and it's, it's a huge language barrier. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited that this is being offered in Spanish because um, it's well needed. It's well needed. So I thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for giving me the time, the opportunity, and I'm ecstatic to see what comes out of this. Let's do it. Thank you. Well, I want to say thank you for Brenda for her leadership. So thank you. I want to thank Amir O'Connell, Vice President Cynthia Mota, President Garidi, Councilman Hendricks, and everybody in attendance today. I want to say my piece first in English, and then I'm going to say it in Spanish because I think it's important that we reach out to the community in, in la idioma de español también. So my name is Charles Roca. I'm the Assistant Chief of Police here in Allentown. Um, working in conjunction with Chief Granites. Um, we're going to begin this program in the first week of May. It's going to run for approximately six weeks and we're going to meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's going to cover topics to do with what the makeup is of the Allentown Police Department. So if you ever have any thoughts of why do they do things a certain way or why is that process followed, it's going to come out in that part. You're going to find that the application process that is going to be uh, talked about shortly, you're going to have the ability to say what you want to learn about, what topics you would like to find out about, because oftentimes it's important, and uh, Brenda mentioned it before, that we build that bridge, and it's important that we have those, those conversations. This is an excellent opportunity for the uh, community to become part of it so that everything can be transparent and you can be part of this journey with us in the Allentown Police Department. Hola, mi nombre es Charles Roca y soy el jefe as asistente de policía. Quiero dar gracias a todos aquí para, para su ayuda. Vamos a empezar este programa en la primera semana de mayo y va a ser por, por seis semanas aproximado. Vamos a juntar cada uh, martes y jueves por la tarde. Los temas de pro, del programa consisten en las funciones de investigación y patrulla del departamento. Y también en el proceso de aplicación nos gustaría saber de los residentes sobre qué temas les gustaría aprender. Esta es una gran op oportunidad para que la comunidad emprenda este viaje con nosotros para estar mejor informada. Gracias a todos. Okay, hello everybody. My name is uh, Detective Luis Garcia. I also want to thank our leadership behind us, our administration. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the application process, but before I do that, uh, I do want to talk a, a little bit about uh, my life in that if you would have told me 25 years ago uh, as a 15-year-old boy growing up in the city of Allentown that in 2021, uh, 25 years in the future, that we would have our department, uh, our police department, have a Spanish language citizens academy, I would not have believed you. It goes to show you that our administration, that the leadership that you see behind me, are adapting and ready to serve our community. And that is 
including our Latino community um, and, and our entire community. So I'm very proud to be part of this police department, but again, I would not have believed you and I'm very excited uh, to, to be part of this process. There's a lot of folks that are working hard uh, every day. Uh, we're not perfect, uh, but we're gonna continue to work. Lo voy a decir en español. Yo voy a hablar sobre lo, lo, cómo aplicar, pero quiero hablar un poquito sobre de mi vida. Si usted, yo na, me nací y me crié aquí, soy puertorriqueño. Mi mamá y mi, mi papá llegaron aquí en los 80. Si usted me dice a mí 25 años a, atrás, en 1995, que en 2021 vamos a tener una academia eh, en español, Uh, para nuestra ciudad que solamente habla español yo no te creo pero nuestro liderazgo aquí trabajando duro para nuestra ciudad, uh, nuestra ciudad latina lo vamos a hacer nosotros no somos perfectos como la policía pero vamos a trabajar con ustedes y vamos a seguir trabajando now the application process uh, we're going to have a flyer that you can see behind me Um, you'll be able to see there's going to be an email there. You can also contact the chief's office. Uh, there's going to be a phone number provided. Uh, we only have a limited amount of spots. And then with COVID-19, we are even more limited. So there is going to be a lottery process. Uh, and please do not worry. Uh, we will have more classes in the future. Um, Lo voy a decir en español. Usted puede ver detrás, uh, detrás de mí que vamos a tener eh, un eh, correo electrónico para que usted pueda aplicar para la clase. También puede llamar con el número eh, eh, la oficina del jefe. Nosotros vamos a tener que hacer eh, una lotería porque obviamente va a haber mucha gente eh, que quieren estar en la clase. Eh, usted puede cont uh, contar con nosotros y vamos a hacer más clases en el futuro. Le quiero dar las gracias a nuestro liderazgo aquí. I want to say thank you again to our leadership here. We are ready, we are strong, and we are ready to lead. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Officer Corvo with the City of Allentown Police Department. I'll be one of the instructors at the Spanish Civilian Academy. Um, pretty much just excited, glad to have the opportunity to teach you guys, uh, show you guys what we're about, express the passion that I have for this job and for this department, and most important of all, to show you guys that we're here for you. And now I'll say it in Spanish for my Spanish-speaking community. Saludo mi gente, soy oficial Cabajal de la Ciudad de Policía, del Departamento de Policía de la Ciudad de Allentown. Eh, estoy excitado por tener la oportunidad de poder enseñar en la academia, eh, dejarles saber de qué somos aquí, expresarles la pasión que yo tengo por este trabajo y este departamento. Y lo más importante es señalarles que nosotros estamos aquí para ustedes, contrario a lo que muchos piensan, porque me lo han dicho muchas veces en la calle, piensan que nosotros somos, eh, no somos amigos, somos gente también, pero espero con esta oportunidad podemos enseñarles lo contrario. Pasen buenas, mi gente. Cuídense. And welcome on behalf of City Council, and I'd say this on behalf of some of the council members that are not here today, but they also support this program. And I want to say thank you to the mayor, thank you to Cynthia Mota, who brought this up, and with the chief as well, and everybody else who's here uh, behind me. Um, it is an honor to be here and to uh, help support this. I actually took the police economy back about, I would say, over 20 years ago. I think I, have to, I need a refresh, of course, okay? <laughs> I think I'm doing it in Spanish this time. We're gonna take the Spanish class myself and I sort of love to, also would like to volunteer and anything I can help. But I think, I'm, you know, I can see a new, you know, I can see by him, by his uh, accent that he's Dominican, and I can see that he's Puerto Rican, and then we have a mix of people here, and I think other languages as well that we can take into account in the future. Um, so it is an honor for me uh, to be here to represent not only the police department, but the whole city as the president of city council, <laughs> and to support this type of program. We're gonna have a lot more programs in the future, and I support the police 100%, and I think uh, the citizens should also support the police. I'm gonna say that part in Spanish, because I think the Hispanic community need to know that. 
Yo le doy las gracias a todos, a todos los que están aquí, especialmente a Cintia Mota y al alcalde y a todos los que están atrás, el jefe de la policía, su jefe eh, Roca y a todos los policías que están aquí porque eh, nosotros apoyamos la policía y de, deberíamos, deberíamos apoyarlo más para eliminar el crimen y tener una, una ciudad que sea más eh, servicial pero a la misma vez más saludable para todos. Así es que eh, gracias y que Dios lo bendiga a todos y trabajemos juntos, no solamente en español, pero en otras lenguas también. Que Dios lo bendiga. Good afternoon. As a former proud member of the downtown police department, having spent almost 40 years in law enforcement, I can tell you I had the opportunity to, and the pleasure of working with a number of these Latino officers. However, we were, don't have nearly as many as we do today, and with a lot of the new members, I'm really, I want to commend Ms. Moda, my colleague on council, and uh, for bringing this program forward and I will be certain to attend some of those training sessions to see firsthand. I'm very proud of this. I'm proud of council bringing this forward and the chief agreeing to it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, this concludes the program. Anybody from the press out there that has questions, uh, you could zoom them in. There were a couple online that I checked out. Uh, just some basic, some basic questions, sir, that came up was, um, in terms of, uh, the, again, the lottery system. We are gonna run, we have multiple, we have multiple classrooms at our police academy. We're fortunate enough to have a, a unique training center there. So we'll be able to spread out uh, the participants into separate classrooms um, to keep COVID uh, regulations and COVID safety uh, first and foremost. And then as Detective Garcia uh, very well said, is that we will be able to run this as much interest as there be as there will be is as many classes as we will do over time. Awesome. Anything else? Anything else? Awesome. Uh, just a couple questions about our hiring. I be I will tell you that we're bringing some very uh, quality applicants with very diverse backgrounds in front of you and City Council very shortly. On Wednesday night, I think. I think we have our first group again on Wednesday. Any, anything else? Any, okay. Thank you for coming. Have a great afternoon and be safe and be well. Take care. Thank you.